friends this is priyanka today we are going to obtain the transfer function for a given mechanical system so let us first observe what is this system here mass m1 and mass m2 is there where mass m1 is having displacement x1 and mass m2 is having displacement x applied force that is input is f of t and for this whole system the output is the displacement x is given that is it is mentioned in the question spring with stiffness k1 is attached to only mass m1 then here is the viscous friction coefficient b1 only related to m1 this viscous friction coefficient b1 to for this damper is in between m1 and m2 spring with stiffness k2 is in between m1 and m2 and for this m2 here is the viscous friction coefficient b2 is related to m2 only now we have to take the transfer function so what is the meaning of transfer function it is the ratio of laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input with zero initial condition so for that we have to first take what is the differential equation related to mass m2 and m1 so how to take this differential equation so that for that we will first draw the free body diagram so we will first draw the free body diagram for this mass m2 here the applied force f of t is towards the right hand side direction and x displacement x is towards the right hand side direction so because of this applied force f of t there is also the reaction force so which elements are responsible for the reaction force now if we observe inertia due to mass m2 reaction force due to this damper and reaction force due to this spring with stiffness k2 and reaction force due to this uh, viscous friction uh, coefficient b2 so we have to mention all these so this reaction forces are in the opposite direction of the applied force f of t so in free body diagram we have to show all these reaction forces are in the opposite direction so i will take first inertia force due to mass m2 that is f m2 then f b12 then f k2 and f b2 so these are the action force and reaction force so according to newton's second law of motion action force is equal to sum of reaction forces so i will write here one equation that is f of t is equal to f m2 plus f b12 plus f k2 plus f b2 now if we observe applied force is f of t and output is in terms of displacement so we have to define all these reaction forces in terms of displacement x and x1 so how we can define so again i will write f of t is equal to now inertia force due to m2 so we know that in uh, force due to m2 is m d square x by dt square so i will write instead of m we have to use m2 that is m2 d square x because displacement is x divided by dt square plus now inertia reaction force due to this damper so viscous friction coefficient is b12 and we know that it is dx by dt but here this b12 is in between mass m1 and m2 so while taking the difference because this is a free body diagram of m2 we will take the displacement of m2 force that is x so we know that what is the uh, reaction force due to damper that is b dx by dt so instead of b i will use b12 in the bracket dx by dt minus dx1 by dt now for k2 with for this spring with stiffness k2 so what is the force due to spring that is k into x but here this spring is in between m1 and m2 which is having displacement x and x1 so we have to take the difference so this is the free body diagram of m2 so while taking difference we will take x first so here plus k2 x minus x1 plus f b2 so b2 is there it is related to m2 only so i will write here b2 dx by dt so this is the equation now 
we have to find out what is the transfer function. So for this transfer function, we have to first convert this equation into Laplace transform. So here, by Laplace transformation, I will write the equation. So we have to write by Laplace transformation with zero initial condition. So this condition is important with zero initial condition. So how to take this Laplace transformation? So instead of T, we have to take here as a S. Because in this question, this applied force F of T and this output X and X1 are variable. And these are variable with respect to time. So for this variable, we have to use S. So instead of T, we have to use S. So how to convert this? So here, here F of T will become capital F of S is equal to now this M2 D square X by DT square so here is the second order so for this second order we will use S square and this X is the function of T so this small X will be converted into capital X of S so M2 S square capital X of S plus again B12 will remain as it is now if we observe for this difference dx by dt and dx1 by dt. So how we can convert? So here is also first order. So I will use s x of s minus s x1 of s. So I can take s as a common. So outside the bracket I will use s. Inside the bracket this small x will convert capital x of s minus this small x1 will convert capital x1 of s. Plus. Now this k2. Now here only x and x1 is there. So I will write here x of s minus x1 of s. Bracket complete. Plus b2. Again here dx by dt. So I will take here b2 into s. Capital x of s. So this is the equation with Laplace transformation. Now we will move for the second mass. That is the mass M1. So for this mass M1, now we have to take the free body diagram. So if we observe this mass M1, which elements are responsible for the reaction forces? So here this K1 is attached to M1, then B1 attached to M1, then B12 and K2. So we have to show all these forces and inertia due to mass M1. So I will show that. Now we have to show this reaction forces in the opposite direction of F of T. So here the X1 is also in the same direction of F of T. So I will show reaction forces. So I will take first inertia due to mass M1, Fm1, then Fk1, then Fb1, then here Fb2 and K2 are on this other side of the face of this M1. So I will show here Fb12 and here Fk2. Now I will write the equation. So according to Newton's second law of motion, summation of all forces is equal to zero because all are in the same direction. So I will write here one equation. Fm1 plus Fk1 plus Fb1 plus Fb12 plus Fk2 is equal to zero. Now all these forces we have to convert in terms of displacement x and x1. So first we will take inertia force due to m1. So m1 is having displacement x1. So I will write m1 d square x1 by dt square plus k1 that is k1 into x1 because k1 is connected to only m1 which is having displacement x1 plus b1. So b1 is connected to only m1 which is having displacement x1 that is b1 dx1 by dt plus fb12 so b12 is in between m1 and m2 so we have to take the difference in between displacement so here free body diagram of m1 which is having displacement x1 so while taking difference we will consider this x1 as a force so b12 in the bracket dx1 by dt minus dx by dt plus fk2 so k2 is in between m1 and n2 
so m1 and m2 so i will write here k2 in the bracket we have to take the difference so m1 is having x1 so x1 minus x bracket complete is equal to 0 so this is the differential equation now we will take the laplace transformation with zero initial condition so again we have to take now how to take for this d square x1 by dt square so this is the second order so i will use m1 into s square here x1 will be converted into capital x1 of s plus k1 x1 so this k1 into capital x1 of s plus b1 into dx1 by dt so for this dx by dt i will use here s and here small x1 will be capital x1 of s plus b12 now here dx1 by dt that is s x1 of s minus s x of s so this s we can take common outside the bracket and in bracket x1 of s minus x of s plus k2 in the bracket x1 of s minus x of s so these brackets are important which is equal to 0 so this is the i will give number so this is the first uh, laplace transformation equation and this is the second laplace transformation equation so these two equations are important because from these equations we have to find out what is the transfer function so transfer function is nothing but the ratio of laplace transform of output so output is x that is given x of s divided by laplace transform of input that is f of s so we have to find out this so how to find out this because these two equations are in terms of x so x1 of s and x of s so we have to remove this x1 of s that is we have to take the value of x1 of s in terms of x of s and we have to replace this x1 of s in terms of x of s and then by using this first equation we can easily take this ratio that is the laplace transform of output divided by laplace transform of input and then we will get the answer now we will simplify the equation number one and equation number two so how to simplify that means we have to remove the bracket so first that is the equation number first will become f of s is equal to m2 s square x of s plus b1 to s x of s minus b1 to s x1 of s that means we have to multiply b1 to s inside the bracket plus k2 x of s minus k2 x1 of s plus b b2 s x of s so again if we simplify this we have to take x of s and x1 of s as a common so if we observe x of s terms that is so we will take m2 s square plus b1 to s plus k2 plus b2 s bracket complete x of s so this x of s we will take common then remaining is x1 of s so for this x1 of s we will take minus so both terms are having minus sign so we will take minus sign outside the bracket so inside the bracket b1 to s plus k2 because if we multiply inside then it will become minus and outside the bracket x1 of s now we will move for the second equation so again we will simplify the second equation that is m1 s, s square x1 plus k1 x1 s then b1 s x1 of s b1 to s x1 of s minus b1 to s x of s plus k2 x1 of s minus k2 x of s is equal to 0 so again we will take common terms for this x1 of s so here these terms we have to take common that is m1 s square plus k1 plus b1 of s plus b1 to of s plus k2 bracket complete x1 of s again we will take in x of s as a common so here x of s that is here these two terms are the x of s so both are having minus sign so i will take minus sign outside the bracket so inside the bracket b12 of s plus k2 bracket complete x of s is equal to z now from this equation we have to find out the value of x1 of s in terms of x of s so i will take x of s on one side and all the terms to the other side so this minus sign will become plus if i transfer this to the 
right hand side. So b1 to s plus k to x of s divided by this whole coefficient of this x1 of s will move to the denominator. Now if we observe this transfer function is nothing but the ratio of output by input that is x of s by f of s. So from this equation, so if we observe here is the equation in terms of f of s then x of s and x1 of s. So this x1 of s we have to remove and we have to write the value in terms of x of s. So if I write this value then our new equation will become f of s is equal to m to s square plus b1 to s plus k2 plus b2 s x of s minus b1 to s plus k2 bracket square because this b1 to s and k2 is getting repeated. So here and here this is getting repeated. So I will directly write here bracket square divided by I have to write this m1 s square plus k1 plus b1 s plus b1 to s plus k2 into x of s. Now we have to again simplify this. So here if I take denominator as a common then I have to multiply for this whole term to this equation. So I will take x of s as a common and I will transfer this f of s to the denominator and I will transfer all the terms to the other side. So all this uh, process I will do in this only one step. So here x of s is a common that means I will write here uh, f of s is equal to now I will take m2 s square plus b1 2s plus k2 plus b2s. Now I will multiply this term to this uh, bracket that is m1 s square this denominator plus k1 plus b1s plus b12s plus k2 minus. So here x of s I will take common. So minus in the bracket b12s plus k2 bracket square. So I will make here as a square bracket and outside that I will write x of s. So if I take the ratio of x of s by f of s then what will happen x of s by f of s is equal to. So here we have to write denominator also sorry then after that I have to take denominator in common. So denominator in, in common is nothing but this m1 s square plus k1 plus b1 s plus b1 2 s plus k2. So this is whole equation in terms of f of s and x of s. So if I take x of s divided by f of s then I have to write I have to transfer this denominator to the numerator and this numerator to the denominator and we will get the transfer function.